Everybody knows that it's a large potential industry and we're in very early stages. So it's obviously a growth industry. How quickly you can grow, how, how much you can grow in a short amount of time is uh, quite important in the industry. So, you know, not to belittle that, uh, that uh, strategy. Uh, and, you know, one big leverage that you have in growing is, is capital. Uh, and companies are using capital to grow faster. I believe the actual growth, sustainable growth, will be a function of how how much you can invest that capital into good assets that you create. Uh, good assets would be, in case of e-commerce, a logistics supply chain infrastructure. Uh, good asset in case of e-commerce will be a good technology backbone, the plumbing, uh, and the uh, you know technology innovation that needs to happen to service the customer. And good asset in e-commerce would be to build a brand that customers rely on, customers can trust. Uh, and all of those things require capital. And these are investments that will pay fruit over a period of time. So I think if we borrow a page from the West, uh, it, it took them many, many years of losses before it became profitable. In India, I, I don't think it will be that long. Uh, it will get to profit sooner. Uh, uh, but, you know, current scenario certainly is that, you know, the e-commerce industry is overall a loss-making industry. We're growing currently at about 40% uh, quarter over quarter and uh, uh, we believe we can grow faster. Um, I think in the next uh, 12 months we'll grow about 4x of uh, where we are today and then you know uh, further double the next uh, the you know the following year i think more customer demand more customer comfort with buying online and uh, you know buying over the phone uh, it's largely about uh, the customer trust of of this new shopping experience integrating with store inventory is is something we've tried before and learned is not the right thing to do we must have uh, inventory controls in order to provide a great customer service experience. Having said that, uh, we use the stores to promote brand future bazaar, make the footfalls aware of online shopping. We use the stores to take returns. Uh, you can return at any big bazaar, things that you bought on future bazaar and get your full money back. Uh, we're going to use the stores as cash collection points as well as pickup points. Um, so there are many different ways we'll integrate with the store. Not always, not always. Oh. Um, you know, uh, for the customer, the benchmark is not online. So for us, the benchmark is not online. I'll tell you the customer behavior actually in electronics. For every customer who goes online and buys online, there are four customers who go online and buy offline in electronics. So what they do is they go online, they go to all the different websites, they benchmark it, they compare it, they look at all the information that you know, the guy at the store will probably not give to you or will not be educated about. So they'll get all the, you know, information about the electronics item. And then they go to a store and they haggle there or get a better deal there. Because, uh, you know, there is comfort around uh, a high value purchase being done at the store. Operating basis is uh, probably a uh, couple of months away, end of this financial year. Oh, nice. Uh, in terms of... Uh, absolute break even uh, we are actually watching the market here and uh, uh, you know watch the market take the lead on how much capital they're infusing into growing this uh, business see if the industry is spending a lot of money in growing this business fast uh, we, we don't want to be left